of our sisters and brothers who have come together from across the nation and across the world to be with us on this holy and beautiful day for our sacred yagna and arti ceremony. Every day is a blessing here. Every day is a celebration. Every minute that we have the opportunity to be on the banks of Mother Ganga is truly a holiday and a holy day. Today, however, we also have the wonderful opportunity to celebrate a very auspicious and very beautiful holiday in the Indian calendar. It's the beautiful and auspicious day of Dantheras today. And the holiday has two main meanings, which I'll give just very, very quickly for our sisters and brothers who have come from abroad. And the two meanings go together so beautifully. On the one hand, it's the day when so many people will go out and buy gold and silver and jewelry and precious metals, even utensils for their kitchen. But it's the day that's considered very, very auspicious for the purchase of precious metals. It's also the day that is the day that the divine incarnation of the science of life, Ayurveda, Lord Dhanvantari, emerged from the Samudra Manthan to give us the science of Ayurveda, the science of life. And what's so beautiful about that is that Ayurveda is not medicine the way that those of us from the West are used to medicine where first we get sick, then we go to a doctor, they give us some tablet that fixes what's wrong but causes 10 other problems. Ayurveda is a system in which the body, the mind, the thoughts, the heart, the entire being come into health and balance. And as we celebrate this, this beautiful holiday, we remember this beautiful teaching that said in Hindi, we say, Shariradak Mandirde. And it means the body is a temple. And so as we celebrate the emergence of Lord Danvantari and the science of Ayurveda, we realize that when our body is healthy and in balance, and when our mind is peaceful and calm, and our heart is full of joy and love, then this body, this brain, this mind becomes a beautiful tool for our awakening, for our enlightenment. It becomes this beautiful medium through which we meditate, we pray, we sing, we serve, we come together, we connect with the divine. And that that is the true gift. That is the true preciousness of life. So as we're thinking about gold and silver and precious metals and things that we think are useful, it reminds us, wait, what's really precious in life? What's really precious is my connection with the divine. What's really precious is my connection with the Creator and all of creation. And through, through bringing health to my body, balance and peace and calmness in my mind and love and joy and faith in my heart and service in my actions, I attain that full health and then the ability to actually use this life to really have awakening, enlightenment, moksha, spiritual connection, that samadhi that we talk about in yoga. And so it's a very, very auspicious day, and it's so wonderful to have 
all of you here with us. We are so touched and full of joy to have with us also our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri Thravendra Singh Ravatji, truly a leader who is bringing such great vision and such great direction to the state of Uttarakhand and a man who actually has got such knowledge of the herbs and the plants and the science of Ayurveda and the science of life and for whom all of these great traditional teachings are so important. So it's so wonderful to have you with us today and our Puja Swami Narmada Nanji Maharaj and all of you. So a very, very blessed Dantheras for all of us today.